more importantly, though, Carol, about yes. Lawrence Fox, would you shag him? <laughs> so is, is uh, Lawrence Fox not a raw doll character? <laughs> See, I think I probably would, but that's no... <laughs> Call me Gen X. A difference of opinion is no bar. Who wouldn't you shag, then? Well... <laughs> Not that I'm for the cure or anything. <laughs> so that clip is why Have I Got News For You is under quite a bit of fire on social media today. As you know, it's making fun of what Lawrence Fox said to Darren Wooten in regard to her, Ava Evans, on that infamous clip that got him and Dan Wooten both fired from GB News. Now I think it is worth noting that Have I Got News For You is a comedy show and it's making light of often serious things that have happened in the week in terms of politics and events and what have you. I suppose some people have been pointing out that Have I Got News For You is scripted whereas what happened with Lawrence Fox is live. We don't need these sort of feminist 4.0. They're pathetic and embarrassing. Who'd want to shag that? <laughs> whereas what's said on Have I Got News For You is not live, it's planned. It's scripted, as I said, so that means the writers have ample time to decide whether they're going to keep something in or take it out. Now, I do think people are being a, perhaps a little bit too serious here, and I don't really think Have I Got News For You should face any retribution for making fun of what Lawrence Fox said. And they are making fun of it by kind of asking around, as it were, would you or wouldn't you, with Lawrence Fox, effectively belittling what he said. Because the statement is quite an arrogant one. The idea that you can say, well, I wouldn't have intimate relations with that woman, assumes that she would be interested in doing so, which of course is an arrogant assumption in the first place. But I think here it's not really worthy of the fuss, is it? I think they're just making fun of it. I don't see anything deeper here. It's... It's satire. I guess perhaps it's not the most brilliant or witty satire, but it is satire nonetheless. And I don't really think a fuss needs to be made. I mean, what sort of retribution should they face? Should they face an investigation for basically asking that question to Carol Vorderman, who was obviously embarrassed but not offended? Should Victoria Corin Mitchell face an investigation for effectively saying she would, but then mocking her own standards. I, I don't really see what the fuss is about. I think it's not really a double standard, I think it's doing what it's supposed to do and just poking fun at what happened, rather than being serious. It's not serious, it's a comedy show.